Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well, each and every one of you. I'm sending you my love. All right, so we're going to see what's going on with you guys in Love Taurus. It's general, right? So take what resonates and leave the rest. Throw it out the window. Um, if you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also go to my Etsy shop and buy a personal reading there. I am offering email tarot readings for those of you guys who don't want to spend full price for a whole love spread. You just have one or two questions. It's a great affordable option with a quick turnaround. Only about three days. And you get a picture of the three card layout for each question, okay? So Taurus, um, that's available on Etsy as well as my tarot, my oracle decks. I am not doing the extended bonus readings right now, um, but I do have my courses on Vimeo my online youtube tarot business course if you're interested in starting your own business that's a great um course to look into and my teach me tarot course all right all right taurus if this resonates if it hits home you know what to do show your girl some love like share comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when i upload all right i've shuffled enough we're gonna jump right into your reading taurus let's see what's going on for right now for you in love okay what's happening around you what's coming in for you what is the situation okay all right taurus ace of wands came out in a verse you could be dealing with a leo a sag and aries we have the knight of pentacles and the chariot in reverse could be cancer um taurus i mean i see that a lot of you guys you're moving towards someone and you're offering your stability you're being very um consistent you're loyal um i mean you're definitely wanting something that is reliable you, you're wanting uh the support of this person i'm getting this is someone that who may have shown interest initially but then something here died the ace of wands came out in the verse so something here may not be moving in the direction you want it to or maybe moving very slowly i'm getting someone put the brakes on this connection the chariot of verse. someone may have felt it wouldn't be victorious it wouldn't work out and so someone i'm getting stopped trying or stop putting in the work but i feel like whoever this is taurus you've been like it's like you've been through all. I mean, like you were really hanging on to this connection, hoping um, hoping for the best. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving night, but you didn't give up on this person and this situation. So I feel like this is someone that you saw stability with, okay? But something here does not seem to be um, moving at this moment in time. Let's see what happened in the past. The Devil in Reverse. The Five of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Swords. Wow, what are all these swords here? It could be a Gemini you're um, connecting with a Libra or Aquarius. We also got Capricorn energy. There's something in the past um, that could have been influencing this connection. Could have been the reason why something here um, did not manifest, okay? Why something here was not able to um, go as planned. We have the Five of Swords. It could be a lot of conflict here. There could have been a lot of arguing regarding um, this person's whereabouts or dealings behind your back. You may have felt like they were trying to get away with something. Um, I do feel like this is someone that was hiding, okay? Hiding something. They could have been hiding an addiction they had or a third party. There's something here that was getting in the way, causing a blockage in the connection. And with the Seven of Swords, I feel like this is someone who's not as honest, okay could have been going behind your back um being um lying cheating deceiving that's what the seven of swords about so there's something that brought a lot of conflict this could have been again arguing back and forth between you and your person or just feeling defeated by it all all right so taurus there is a death here in your energy scorpio energy there's something here that may be coming to an end it could be closing of a cycle or change that's needed we have the king of swords and the three of wands so what it's telling me taurus that's in your energy a lot of you guys i feel like you are seeing the truth of a situation okay you're taking the blindfold off the king of swords is that you're really standing in your power and you're wanting clarity on a situation in order to move forward because i see taurus you've been waiting on this person you've been waiting on this person to take action towards you waiting for them to get themselves together and we have the death okay we have an ending some of you guys are just not waiting anymore you want change and you want you want something that's going to move. I mean, you want you want some kind of transformation here. Is what it's telling me. All right. So let's see what's going on in a foundation with this person, whoever you're thinking and dealing with. Taurus's person. We have the two of wands, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Star. So I feel like this is someone here who's been a very um, very indecisive. 
okay this is someone who may come in your life and then they leave right back out okay they don't really know what they want um they could be also very combat uh, combative okay with this knight of swords energy um but i do feel like this is someone who's trying to make a decision regarding you um and perhaps another opportunity or path or person um but they don't really know what they want okay but i do see them coming back in very quickly very impulsively and we have the Queen of Cups in verse. So this could be someone that they're dealing with. This could be someone in the um, environment, in their environment, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it also could be the energy of your person. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or someone who's been holding back emotionally. Some of you guys, you may feel like this is someone here who's been emotionally unavailable to you, right? No matter what you give, like, you know, you put your love out there, your heart out there. And it's like, this is someone here who's been holding back. Now, as far as the outcome, I do see the star card here. So this is about hope, wishing, okay, um, manifesting, healing. I feel like this is someone here who is thinking very optimistic about the connection with you and them. Um, and they may be hopeful that something here can come back together and, um, you know, manifest. Let's see what this looks like, okay? So I'm going to get the outcome. Taurus and their person. It could be an Aquarius that you're connecting with. As far as the outcome, we do have some kind of communication or message coming through with the Page of Wands. Um, it could be regarding why they may hurt you, why they had to um, move in a different direction, why they, why you guys are in separation. There's some kind of message that's coming towards you. It could be also regarding a third party. Um, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So there may be someone who has been doing a lot of thinking about this connection, Taurus. Um, they look at you as someone here that... You know, you know, you had a lot to offer. And I think this is someone who missed out on opportunity. So there is a message coming to you. Um, it could be, again, from a fire sign or an air sign. But this is because of someone someone doing a lot of thinking. And they do see you as someone who's valuable. Okay? Valuable to them. And they may want to heal this connection with you. The star is about coming together, being optimistic that something still can happen. So let's see, why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? In the current energy, something here is not taking off. It's not moving forward. I feel a lot of you guys, you've been waiting for a new beginning with this person. But it's like they come in with all this excitement and passion, but then they don't really take real action towards you. The Fool and the Devil. So some of you guys, this devil got in the way of having this new beginning with this person. Okay, I feel like also some of you guys, um, this is someone here who wanted a new beginning, but they were... In this foolish energy, you know, the devil can also be, you know, a lot of negative thinking um, or something that they were um, involved with that got in the way of, again, them from moving forward with you, okay? Whatever that devil is, you may know what it is. Um, it could be addictions. Um, it could be, again, something that they're associated with, a codependent connection. Um, but the fool is a new beginning. So they want a new beginning. They want things to move forward. But I do feel like this devil was impacting that, okay? So that's why the Ace of Wands came out in the verse. And we have the chariot in verse. Something here was not able to um, be victorious. We have the queen of pentacles in reverse and the ten of wands. So some of you guys, that's your energy, right? The queen of pentacles. Um, you guys saw this person not providing you with the stability that you needed. And I see a lot of you guys, again, you saw something not moving forward, okay? You saw something not playing out the way that you anticipated. You put in a lot of your hard, uh, hard your earned, I don't want to say your hard work, your earned, um, hard work, earned, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. You put in a lot of your hard work and um, effort into making this happen. And I'm seeing that there's something that was very burdensome. I mean, the Ten of Wands. This is an ending of some sort, right? So in the current energy, um, I do feel like a lot of you guys, you presented something very stable, but something wasn't, wasn't going to work out um, no matter what you did. That's what I'm seeing. It's like no matter what you put out there for this person, I'm getting like they just were not in the position to move forward at the time, okay? And that's what I'm feeling. I'm getting at the time because we have the devil coming out twice. Um, again, it could be a Capricorn, but let's see. There's a lot of conflict here. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Five of Swords came out again. Wow. Um, in the Hierophant. There's some kind of conflict regarding um, commitment. Maybe your person couldn't give you the commitment. They were already in a commitment. There's something regarding... Um, you guys were fighting because of a commitment, okay? Because maybe you felt like they weren't as entirely committed to you at the time or they were still involved in another situation. All right, Taurus, we got the death card in your energy. What's this about? The tower. Whew, the tower and the king of wands. And verse. A lot of you guys, you gone through a tower moment. That's what it's telling me. It was very difficult, right? Something here shattered, came 
crumbling down right before your eyes. It crushed you. It hurt you. I mean, this is the ending of a cycle, a very painful cycle. But the tower is like, you know, a blessing in disguise, right? Something comes tumbling down for something to be rebuilt. Right. And a lot of you guys, um, you're putting an end to a situation with this King of Wands in verse, someone who hasn't been in um, someone who's been inconsistent, who hasn't been able to deliver, hasn't able to give you the stability, who's been very in and out of your life. Um, this is something here that is coming to an end. You're, you're not you're not dealing with this kind of energy anymore. And that's what the death is about. Scorpio energy here very strongly. And a lot of you guys, you're in this King of Swords energy where you're seeing the truth. You're getting clarity on how to move forward. The Three of Wands. Let's get some more clarity with the King of Swords of Judgment. You're making better decisions. You're making better decisions as to what you invest in. And a lot of you guys, you see this person as not worth investing in. At least not right now. Because it's like you're going to keep putting yourself out there for this other person to take, take, take. And I see you letting go. I see you moving on, waiting for better, waiting for something new. So let's see what your person's energy is. Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? All right, we have the King of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and we have the Four Cups. Okay, so there, there's an opportunity that was definitely missed Taurus is tell me a person could be feeling as if they rejected you and you know essentially something didn't work out for them this is someone who's realizing that there was a good opportunity here in fact they did look at you as someone they really did care about I mean we have a lot of cups here we have the king and queen of cups as well so it definitely could be like a divine partnership I mean this is someone here who even though you gave them all your love and loyalty they were still indecisive about what they wanted so I do feel like this is someone who's now thinking about it. They may have some regrets about not giving to you when they um, should have. Why is the Knight of Swords? This is someone who may be wanting to communicate with you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. They may want to um, communicate and reveal something. The High Priestess came out in the verse and the Temperance, Piscean energy and Sagittarian energy. Um, I feel like this is someone who's being patient right now, but they do want to come to you and speak some truth. They may want to clear the air with you, come in very, very quickly. Um, and there's something here that may be revealed. Some of you guys, something is being revealed and they're wanting to tell you what that's all about. They may want to clear the air before it gets to you or, you know, um, tell you what really happened. But there's something about patience here, okay? There's something about patience. Um, maybe your person is being patient knowing that you're going through a tower moment here, right? There's been an ending here. You've been very devastated and hurt, so they may be not so quick to reach out because, well, they cause a lot of damage, right? So, but we do have the star card. The star is indicating of healing. The sun is in reverse. The world, okay, the universe is definitely supporting this. So when we have the hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. What it's telling me is that Taurus, your person does want to heal with you, but they may also um, lack clarity, on how to do that right now okay the sun is in verse something here has not been illuminated or they may not know how to go about um healing the connection between you and them they may have a lack of enlightenment or just no answers right now but the world is indicating of some change that may be coming through you may not see this in fact but there could also be some lessons here that you and your person had to learn in order for something to really come together with the star but i do see your person getting unstuck i see them doing a lot of thinking and assessing and if things have been stalled for a very long time, I see that I see something finally moving. All right. Um, and we do have communication coming in. So the page of wands is some kind of um, I would say flirtatious or passionate uh, communication coming in. It could be like a text message. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse. And we have the six of wands in reverse. So it's telling me that your person's been holding back a lot. There's been a lot of truth. Um, there's been information here your person has kept from you. And the reason why they have done that, the reason why they kept this information from you is because they felt something here wouldn't work out. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't help the situation. It wouldn't make this victorious. It would perhaps um, make you push them away, right? And so I do feel like, unfortunately, it caused a lot of hurt to you. There's something where it caused you a lot of hurt. It may have caused a breakup or a separation between you and your person. But there is some communication about what they've been holding back. And the Seven of Pentacles because they've been doing a lot of thinking, reflecting, and they feel awful. Five of Cups, they feel regretful. They feel like, wow, I let Taurus down big time and Taurus did not deserve that. Taurus deserves so much more. 
So there's a lot of sadness and disappointment about their past treatment of you, the way they um, went about this connection, okay? So Taurus, that is what I have for you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Send you my love, my blessings. If you want a personal reading or email tarot reading, all that can be found on Etsy, okay? All right, you guys, have a great week. You guys all take care. Bye.